If you want to come to China and teach, you have to know that there are many different types of school in China, and you have to choose the school that is best for you. Training centers are a very good place to start when you're teaching in China. It's not like regular school. It's usually after school, so it's usually sometime between five thirty to nine or ten p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays. You usually get one or two days off during the week, and it's kids of various ages. So you might have classes with kids with two to three year olds and adults even. And the classes are small; they're like. Six to twelve kids, mostly in those classes. It's a really good way to start. But please bear in mind that China is closing a lot of training centers. So do your research and make sure it's a reputable and good training center and it works for you. Bilingual schools, as the name suggests, usually means that classes are taught in both English and Chinese. You can find bilingual schools that are private or public. And the students will have their Chinese classes, and they will have English classes. These are very common and very popular in China, and it's also a really nice place to start. You usually get a teaching assistant to help you with translation, so don't worry if you can't speak Chinese. Kindergarten. Now, if you love small kids between the ages of like two to six. This is the perfect fit for you. They're small kids. They like to play. They like to sing. Your classroom will be fun, entertaining. You don't have that much energy, and you, this is not something you're interested in. Then obviously, kindergarten wouldn't be a good fit for you. It's important to note that in China, kindergartens are like maybe fifty percent of the jobs that you will see. They're they're usually. A lot of places asking for ESL teachers for kindergartens, and the salary is usually higher. The drawback to being at a kindergarten is if there is a COVID lockdown, you probably won't be paid during that time because kindergarten will be closed. But otherwise, if you like small kids, this is the perfect match for you. International schools in China usually pay the most. But they also require the most qualifications. So if you're not a trained teacher and you're just coming to China and you have no teaching experience, it's a lot harder for you to get this type of job in a very good school. This is usually students who are diplomats or kids of expats or Chinese parents. Who want their children to go abroad for school? The school fee is usually very expensive for these schools, so the caliber of students that come in are really, you know, in Jamaica would say the uptown people. So these are the uptown people kids, and they expect a certain caliber from the teachers. This is a very high-paying job. So, if you are teaching, you have experience. This is probably the best option for you. Public school, as the name suggests, is open to everyone. This school usually places more emphasis on the Chinese curriculum than on the English. So, ESL classes will sometimes just be electives, or something that the kids might not see as important as their Chinese classes. Their classes are usually big. Usually, it's like fifty to sixty students in a class for public schools. The benefits of a public school is there's usually job security because many people once they are working in a public school, they will be there and they can be there for a very long time. So, if you are open to teaching big schools and have no problem with teaching different age group kids, then public school will definitely be a good choice for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that this video is very useful for you in determining which school is most suitable for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type and write it below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.